Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Hope you all are keeping busy or if not spending quality time with your friends, family or your partners at these trying times. I hope everyone is also practicing good hygiene and social distancing. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at Tamiya's Schutzen Panzer Martyr 1A2. Now this particular model is somewhat an old model already and most of the, the variants that Tamiya produced for the murder precede what Revel already updated. So we're taking a look at the 1A2 variant and as for all my inbox review videos we're taking a look at the spruce, the parts and basically a quick run through. Now we already have the parts laid out so we can easily take a look at them. First off we have the running gear, we have the road wheels, the drive sprockets as well as the idler. Now we also have the return rollers, some pioneer tools, towing cables, as well as hatches for, if I'm not mistaken, the driver as well as one hatch in the rear we also have the covers for the headlights and the side view mirrors next we have parts for the exterior we have here the big engine deck grill cover uh, sorry the engine deck cover as well as some sli sleeping bags camouflage netting as you can see there however I might fashion one myself using other parts let's just see how it goes once we start building it this kit also comes with figures for the driver as well as the commander and we also have the top part of the turret the part for the back which is slightly bent however that can be fixed right away hatches for the rear deck in which soldiers can open and fire out here on the side we have parts for the gun the gun assembly and also smoke dischargers right over here so yeah this is basically it for this brew moving on to the next one now Tamiya made this kit to have an engine interior. So this is what the engine deck cover is for. So this is the engine and these are the other parts that go with the engine. And you basically pop it right in, uh, oh, you, you attach it here beneath the upper hull, which we'd be discussing, we'd be discussing later. You pop it right here and you basically have a nice engine looking someone like that and you pop on the cover and you can basically open and close the cover so now we also have here the side skirts and these panels are for covering the sides of the engine so you basically have a good solid uh, engine here and you won't be able to see inside the interior now let's finish the spruce first here next we have some of the other accessory parts as well as another hatch more towing cables and other parts for the turret and if we can see here this if I'm not mistaken would be the Panzer, uh, sorry if I butchered the word, Panzer, Panzer Abwehr System Milan, which is basically a rocket launcher or an ATGM in short. We also have here duffel bags as well as another sleeping bag. So this kit has a lot of exterior accessories which would be nice in detailing a very busy looking Marder 1A2. Now here we have the upper hull which 
is neatly designed we have here surface detailing as you can see here that's supposed to be the anti-slip coating now later on as you go through the assembly of this kit you'd notice one particular variation in the 1A2 variant as well as the later variants the 1A2 variant has firing ports attached here so what that would theoretically do is the soldiers while inside could open the small hole in that firing port pop out the rifle and basically fire from the sides while the vehicle is moving but for later variants the firing port was removed and this was all one whole part the only way soldiers could pop out and shoot would be through the top rear deck so that's basically it for the top half of the hull now here we have the bottom half as you can see this is an old kit if i'm not mistaken we can see the year i think right over there you can see it was oh it won't focus now this is molded around 1977 so you still have Tamiya's popular motorization option of course the holes can easily be dealt with with a little putty and you can basically cover this up but yes this was ideally designed by Tamiya for uh, motorization purposes or if you wanted to motorize your murder well why not I've actually done motorization on one particular kit and I tell you it's quite a lot of work so this is basically the lower hull and you, you already have the torsion bars molded in so you just basically pop in those road wheels idler wheels and the drive sprocket is another part next we have the poly caps for use of the road wheels, the idler wheels, and the sprocket. Next we have the mesh as well as the decals for the martyr. Now the mesh, if I'm not mistaken, is for one particular part on the turret. Now next we have Tamiya's belt type tracks, basically easy to assemble, just pop them together. And then glue them and you already have a track pretty nicely detailed although the rear lacks in-depth detailing but with a little weathering you can cover that up now lastly we have their instruction manual well this is uh, self-explanatory it's Tamiya's multi-folded instruction manual and at the very back you have the painting and marking options so that's basically it for Tamiya's Marder 1A2 now what do I think of this kit I know from prior experience with Tamiya this is going to be another shake and bake kit and from other reviews I saw online this is a relatively good kit pretty easy to build and I highly recommend it for those who are looking to build or looking to enter the armor side of the Bundeswehr. Now the Marder 182 is the Bundeswehr's infantry fighting vehicle or armored personnel carrier and is popularly used by the Panzer Grenadiers. Now the Marder 182 or basically the Marder series is uh, in its long running history, this is the oldest APC or IFV that the Bundeswehr has been fielding. Now recently, uh, the, Bundeswehr, the Bundeswehr is vying to replace their entire Marder fleet with the Schertzen Panzer Marder as I covered in yet another video. And as, And if you saw that video, you'd see that the Puma has quite the difference between 
that end of the martyr. So basically, this martyr is very popular. It's been in the Bundeswehr for quite some time, and it's probably the epitome of the Bundeswehr's APC line. So this this is quite um, an iconic model. Uh, not particularly this model kit, but the martyr is an iconic vehicle per se So that's basically it for today's video After I built this after painting perhaps I'd immediately update this and show the finished product So I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up But if you didn't give it a thumbs down and as always stay safe wash your hands and stay indoors. Until next time, goodbye.